everybody! Today I am joining you with my first ever ColourPop haul and I know I am late to the ColourPop uh, bandwagon. It's an online brand and it's something I've heard about on and off but I've been kind of swamped with other reviews first off and second of all I really haven't quite had the time to watch as much YouTube as I would like these days. The thing that really turned the tide was I saw that Jamie Greenberg had a collection with ColourPop called In Bloom and I've actually worked with her before. She's hilarious and awesome awesome, not to mention, you know, very talented at what she does, and the color scheme in this collection just seemed so me, so I really wanted to try it. So in addition to the In Bloom collection, I also got um, some of their eyeshadows and individual lip products also. So this is a line that seems very focused on the color cosmetics, so blushes, um, lip products, things called lippy sticks, so they have this kind of slim design format to their lip products, and also eyeshadows. But their products seem to be kind of a cream powder hybrid. You can definitely press your finger down into them. There's some softness. Not an all goopy. You're not going to notice like a lot of moisture with these, but it's definitely not your traditional powder product. And it's not a classic cream. And these are the uh, blushes and shadows that I'm talking about that are this way. So this is the highlight from the In Bloom collection. And you can see how it's kind of got that textured look to it that you might think, oh, that's like a powder imprint. But then as you can see, I can rub my finger in it. I can press my finger down into it. And it's definitely like a creamy consistency. Minus that real tacky feel that you might associate with just a standard, say, cream blush or cream highlight. So it's very interesting, very different. I always feel like it's money well spent when you can try something that's kind of unlike anything else that you already have in your collection. So like I said, in my order there were some cheek products, some eye products, and lips, and there were a couple of neat little cards here that gave some explanations on tips and tricks, how to use them. To sum it up, it says if you want the most coverage out of these products, like the cheek and eyes, you can use your fingers to apply them. And then they give a few brush suggestions as well if you want to do that. And it says when you're finished, close them up really tightly. Because I guess if you don't, they'll start to lose that really unique, interesting texture that they have. So I'm going to start off talking about In Bloom. This is the Jamie Greenberg collection I was talking about, and it's three lip products and three cheek products. And I think it was 30-something bucks, and so I thought, wow, that's a really good deal for all you're getting. And for me, as one who hasn't tried any of this stuff before, I thought it would be a good opportunity to experiment. So the three cheek products are two blushes. It says Super Shock Cheek. Um, this one is hysterical, and this one is tongue-tied. And these are totally like what you see is what you get, you know, to do an opaque swatch of one of these, it looks exactly like the product in the pan. So that's kind of cool. Now hysterical is what I have on my cheeks and you can see it's been kind of sheared out. Um, there's no glow coming from this product. It actually applies and looks kind of matte if you just wear it on its own. So I am wearing the highlight as well. And it comes off kind of like a soft berry shade. I used my e.l.f. small stipple brush to apply it. So I just picked up some of the product in here, just dab, dab, dab. And then I kind of went in circular motions with this. You could stipple it right on, but I think you get a little better transfer if you just do a really light circular motion. You could also use your fingers like they say, but I just love the application with that brush. And then this highlight, like I said, this is the one called Double Dip, and I think this is super, super flattering. It's not too much. I mean, you can see when it catches the light, you might think, oh my gosh, that's super metallic, but I'm wearing it just lightly here on the tops of the cheeks, and I just love how it gives that bit of glow, but there's no actual sparkle that I can pick up on. It actually has a hint of a golden tone, and since I was already using my small stipple brush for the blush, I didn't really want to go into the highlight with it. So I've just been using my fingers to apply this. I pick up a little bit, just a couple swirls in there, and then I do like a really light finger buff, we'll call it, onto the cheeks with that. I just think about applying the lightest pressure possible to allow the product to transfer, but nothing more. And the reason why I'm wanting to apply such light pressure is that I've already got foundation on. I've already got powder on. I don't really want to mess that up. So you just want to apply very lightly. And the really cool thing about it is, like I've said, these are creamy products, but they don't um, leave your skin feeling tacky. You're using such a thin amount of them. And even if you were really laying it on thick, I still don't 
think it would feel like a cream on your cheeks. And it really has great staying power, these do. The third blush that you're getting with this set is called Tongue Tied, and it's an awesome corally shade. Just like the finish of the pink one that I'm wearing, you know, it's kind of matte um, until you put that highlight on top, then you get a little more glow. I was wearing this in another video I did recently over on my other channel, so I'll pop that up so you can kind of see the difference in tone. This is all very, like, a berry-themed look that I've got going on here, but um, I took it a more coral route when I put this on my cheeks, so I love that shade. This might actually be my favorite blush shade of the bunch. So, super impressed with the cheek products. Love them, would totally buy more of them. Um, the other three things in here are the lippy sticks. I just love the format on these. They're a skinny, twist-up stick, so, you know, regular lipsticks always wear down eventually, especially when they're the shade you really love. You know, they change shape. And here you can see they're gonna maintain a certain amount of skinniness with this style of tube. So I love that. They kind of smell like cookies. I can't quite put my finger on exactly what kind of cookie. Some kind of cookie from my childhood. I can't think. Maybe a shortbread cookie? or something with almonds. Yeah, I think a shortbread cookie. My grandpa always used to make those. Did I say these are all the cream formula? You've got Sweet Thing, which is a really pretty um, soft pink, kind of a cool tone pink, maybe a little bit of mauve in that shade. You can definitely tell that this cream formula has a lot of shine to it. Then there's Frenemy, and this pairs beautifully with that uh, coral blush. It's kind of like a hot coral lip color. Kind of a warm, very reddish coral. Really liking that. And then the one I'm wearing in this video is called Freshman, and it's a great classic berry shade. Love this pinky magenta. I'm really impressed with the fullness of color and also that little bit of shine. I really love this cream formula compared to the couple of others I tried. I think these are definitely my favorite. So from what I've tried from ColourPop, this In Bloom kit is probably the biggest high point, the biggest success. I love the shades that are in here. I love the way they feel. They apply great, so yay for that. Now, the other two just random lip products I selected individually off the site. Um, I just wanted to try a couple of other finishes. So I got Westy, which is this matte shade, and it's like a soft pink, um, almost a little bit more neutral. Well, a lot more neutral than the other shades in the kit. I won't say it feels drying on the lips to wear this shade, but it just feels more dry compared to those creams that definitely have some shine coming off off of them. You feel a lot of moisture. This is just a little more dry, but it does give you that matte finish if that's what you're after. And then I got Monkey, which says Hyper Glossy. And this kind of confused me a little bit because it does seem to have some shine, but it doesn't really seem any more shiny than the creams. It's pretty. I don't love the color. I'm not really obsessed with it. I think my three favorite shades that I've used are the ones that are, you know, in this collection. And the staying power with these, it could just be how vivid they are, but they last so well. Even once the shininess wears off, they really hang around on my lips for the better part of a day. And then lastly, I really wanted to try some of their eyeshadows, so I got this little foursome um, that says Rebound. I love the little sleeves, the fun packaging there. Three Super Shock eyeshadows and one, um, pressed pigment. So it's not a palette type setup. You've just got your four individual shadows. And I think that's because for this formula to stay intact, those caps really need to stay on there tightly. But these are that same kind of texture that I was describing with the blushes, you know, a little bit cream-like. There's this one called Too Soon, and as you can see, it's got a lot of shimmer to it. It's not really metallic when you put it on, though. It just has that little bit of sparkle, so it's kind of like a golden peach with a pinky type of ear iridescent shimmer. This shade is called One and Done, and it goes on kind of matte. I don't know, maybe there's a teeny, teeny bit of sheen in this. You've also got Adios, which is like a satin finish, kind of brownish gray, very neutral. And those are all labeled as Super Shock Shadows, but this one, it says Super Shock Pressed Pigment, and this is probably the reason why I chose this quad. This is the one called X. EX, not just X. <laughs> and it's a really bright coral shade. I thought that'd be great for spring. So in another video, I was wearing um, this on the lid and just a normal neutral powder shadow in the crease. And then I think I blended above it with a little bit of this coral shade. Loved the look. It had great staying power. That's another thing. Even though these are borderline cream products, you don't have to set them with anything. They really do last. I noticed the swatches on my hand even. I really had to scrub them off in the shower. The only one that came off 
easily was this sparkly one called Too Soon. And today I am wearing that one called Too Soon, the sparkly one all over the lid. And I've got some of this grayish color in the crease. And I just use my finger to apply the lid shade, but in the crease I use this Real Techniques shading brush. Synthetic brushes like this I think do kind of well um, with picking up and transferring some of these creamy products. So I think this little four pack gave me a good sampling, uh, you know, of colors, a couple neutrals, something really bright, something with a sparkly finish. I'd really like to try more that have maybe a metallic type finish to them as well. But I could see you using all four of these to create just one look, or maybe, you know, you just use bits and pieces here and there, like accent type shades. But that is my ColourPop haul. All in all, I'm really happy with what I got. But the ones that really knocked my socks off and impressed me the most were the things um, in the In Bloom collection. The highlight, the two blushes, the three lippy sticks, they were just really, really nice. So thank you guys so much for watching my first ColourPop haul. I would love to hear what your favorite things are from this line. Um, please give me your suggestions, your recommendations. I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.